So it's bed mode. <laughs> and then you can uh, flip these up. Stick them in there. And you got your table. And the table just comes up by itself? Yep. And then you want to go back to bed, you just push it down. This locks like that. Here's the electrical cabinet. So everything's ran to a standard breakers and fuses. 3,000 watt inverter, 2,000 watts of solar, and then it's also charging off the van when it's running. And then next to it, that's the hot water heater setup that you pull that hot water heater out of the van, just turn a knob and it's got hot water. Dang, so it sounds like your shower and all that. Yep, shower and then you open a valve under the sink and it'll run hot water back to the sink too. So, so yeah, you just hook this to a uh, standard little one pounder, turn this valve in here. Then you close this one and turn this one on and it'll go to the sink. I've got a shower curtain in there. Put this on here like that. Slide your curtain on there. Stick it on there. You got a shower curtain. There's another curtain that goes on the inside too. A little outdoor, outdoor shower. I've got the handle up, but water. There's a cook vent in the countertop that ducts air to the outside of the van. I uh, got my radio on the auxiliary circuit so it never drains your car battery. A custom flat top though. <laughs> I can increase the yeah. I still need to do a little tidying up, but uh, that's the blower for, the, so I redid the blower because this thing had rear AC. So now it ducks through a standard house vent over here. Oh, there you got the fridge. 50 liter refrigerator, fridge freezer. Dude, I think we might have to show Pop in the pop top too. Yeah, got to. Latch is here. There's one behind your head. Now, it's a little bit heavier than I anticipated originally. I might put uh, actuators on it. Not too bad though. Now you can stand. Alex, you designed all this and sewed all this too, didn't you? Yep. Dang, boy. Pretty much every single part in here other than the refrigerator. How did you get the pop tops? You have to cut the whole van off? The whole top of the van? Yeah. And then I went through and did a pretty good amount of work with the 5.7 liter V8 that this thing has in it. <laughs> Big mama. Hell Predecessor yeah. to the Hemi. I did valve cover gaskets, a rebuilt carburetor. Basically did the whole top end except for taking the heads off. Okay. Because I did a compression check and this thing ran good before. It just needed to be cleaned up. All new yeah. accessories, AC compressor, put a higher output alternator on it. I had to Smart. replace almost every single component in the AC system on this thing and convert it to R13 from R12. Dude, it looks awesome, man. Good job. Close her down. Close her on up. I could probably make some little tabs to help the canvas fold inward, but I put so much work into this thing for right <laughs> now. It's just like, it's not too bad to tuck it for any. That's pretty much it. I'll go around and make sure it's all tucked in. Where the exhaust for the, the vent fan behind the stove comes out and then you got your little water fill thing. Nice. 16 gallon fresh water tank and then there's a 16 gallon gray water underneath the van too. <laughs> 200 watts of solar. And then I bought the cheaper root fan and then wired it in the van so you can switch the direction instead of spending an extra $80 on the one that has the direction on it. <laughs> it's got a half inch polyfoam insulation under the floor and then plywood and then the top of the vinyl flooring. And then on the walls it's got the inch and a half thick polyfoam. 
I spray foamed it and used the aluminum duct tape to seal all the gap. I mean, you've got windows, so <laughs> yeah. it doesn't really matter as much. I've, I've kind of found, especially you've also got a big aluminum heat sink on the roof. True. Keeps it quieter at it's least. It's good if you're trying to keep it warm, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Extra light in and kind of. Yeah. Sweet.